Good morning. I got my coffee. Get whatever you like to drink, whether it's coffee or tea or Coke or whatever. And come join me for floss tube number 29. Yeah, 29. Um, floss tube is where I talk about my cross stitch, crochet, quilting, all those fun stuff, crafty projects. And my voice is just now back. After my last video last Monday, by Tuesday, I was sounding like somebody that has smoked for 30 years, three packs a day. And my voice is still a little bit bad, but not nearly as bad as it was yesterday. Several days I couldn't talk at all. I did go to the doctor. He says it's just my allergies. And so to double up on my allergy meds that I normally take. So I'm doing that. Let's see if they get better. Um, I had two new starts last week. One was my birthday and one was a little reward for myself for making all my goals for the week. And my goals for the week. Okay, for Crystal Academy for the spell. I needed to work on Queen of Swords by Siko Machina. It's a Hade. It's a quick stitch Hade. Let's see. I am horrible with names. So. see if that pull it up. Nope. Okay. There. That's who it's by. It's a quick stitch. Queen of Swords Al. She's absolutely gorgeous. So I was doing color completion. And then I was liking seeing it filling up. So I started filling up, going over, and I'm just working my way over. And I'm just taking the strand out as far as it goes for each one, filling up each little square. This is 20 count Ada Zagar, I think it is. Yeah. But it's 20 count. And I'm loving the 20 count. It's really dark and gloomy in here today. Sorry, every time I put on lights, then everything turns yellow or... It, let's see if my little ring light will work. Any better, help us. Not much, but it is what it is. Okay, so I got 700, right. yeah, 750 stitches in the Queen of Swords. Well, actually, 754 stitches in Queen of Swords. So I mastered the spell for last week in Crystal Academy for the homework. My homework was... And I don't have the cover photo on here. There you are. There. Long Dog Sampler. The New Normal. And I did all this here. I only had it like that much there. So I did all this and I went all the way to the bottom. I wanted to make sure. So I've decided I'm going to keep working down this week and do like this part of the border right there. 
and go all the way down. And then I'm going to go all the way across and at least make sure <laughs> that all fits. This is 18 Count Ada by B Stitch Me. It's called Cobbler and I, it's opal and I'm loving. I am so loving the colors in it. <clears throat> so this week we'll get another thousand stitches at least. I would I meant to do two thousand last week and I didn't get two thousand in. But this week I might do it. Then for magical stitches. Uh, we did a new camp, and we had to do 2,000 stitches in any whip, okay? So, whip is work in progress. So, I did mine using the Queen of the Sea, Dark Queen of the Sea, which was my Friday, I mean Monday, fancy book. Instead of Melabellia Mondays, I'm doing Fancy Foot Mondays. And this is my Dark Queen. I dyed this fabric myself. It's 18 count. Dyed it with purple and teal. Let's see. Okay, so. I finished this. And then I started this side. This is uh, part 11. Yeah, this was part 10 and I finished it. I'm on part 11. So we got part 11 ah, that goes right here and then part 12. And then in August is part 13 and that's the end of it. So I am thinking she's going to be my fancy folk. folk. Monday, and I want to get, I'm going to do color completion. So, this color here that I'm working on, which is 936, I think it's not 939. I'm going to complete all of it for both parts. 11 and 12 and then go to, go to another color but I'm loving how she is turning out she's gorgeous um, this this week is going to be my focus piece so that's what I'm going to do for today crystal magical studies stitches um, for this week, since I got the 2000 for the new camp done, I'm working on the second part of the yearly cabins. And right now, I'm going to be, I'm working on the third one, the dining pavilion. So far, I've got, I think, 600 stitches on it. And I need 5,000. So, I would love to get that one done this week. But let's, we'll see. Um, the Dark Queen through the week, I got 3,257 stitches in her, all in all. So I'm really hoping to get 3,000 plus this week or so. Because I, I'm just loving working on her. Um, for Crystal Academy this coming week, the new normal and ah, underwater dolphin and that's what I've got done so far and let's see if we can I can find the picture of it oh come on now where are you picture I know I got one That's another Hade. I started this one for Lisa's birthday. 
It is gorgeous. Ah, come on. There. But that's all I've got in it so far. So I'm going to need some more. I, I need 750. I'm going to try for 800. And that is for Crystal Academy for this coming week for the next spell. Um, I'm going to be doing that when I'm Friday for full coverage Fridays. I'm trying to do that. I'm doing that. I'm doing good with it. Okay, now for my birthday start, which was July 14th, the 14th, this past Wednesday. I started on this beauty. Is she not gorgeous? Love her. I was so tempted to work on her today again, but I need to get the Dark Queen caught up. And let's see. Yeah. This is the top here. But that's what I got in. Let's see how many stitches and all did I get in? <clears throat> 850 and this fabric is by B stitch me some I got from a Friday night fight nights and it's Aurora yeah 18 count opal Aurora I can't say it right see I'm losing my voice again she is gorgeous. I'm thinking next Monday, she's going to be the fancy folk. Then, my last new start. That was one of the new starts. My last new start was an Ann Stoke called Sometimes. This is, of course, it's not going to show right. started it. I wanted something that I didn't really have to think. And I actually started up in this corner. I started this one because I wanted to. <laughs> Pure and simple. And I wanted something that I didn't really have to think. Because the first bit here is, that's actually four, five colors. Yeah. See, that's one, black, another color, another another so four colors I got 600 stitches in it last night and this is just some 18 count that I had in my stash that was the perfect size for it so I went with it it's a full coverage piece so it's not going to matter if <clears throat> what color it is and that's all my whips yeah so this week, I'm going to work on the Dark Queen, the New Normal, and the Underwater Dolphin. If I get all my goals done, then I'm going to stitch on the Sometimes by Ann Stroke. But I have to get all my goals done um, for... Last week, stitching... Survival of the Stitchiest. They had an event to be the healer. And I'm I'm one of the healer assistants. There's one healer and then two healer assistants. I tried that. It was 4,000 stitches within five days. And I made it. So now I'm a healer assistant. Yay! Um, and that's on any whip, so... Yeah, my weekly total stitches, 6,461. So I did good. I did really good. I think I did good. 
How's that? <laughs> but that's it. Yeah. Three main whips for this week. I want to get the Dark Queen fully caught up before the first so that I only have the beading to do. Beading and back stitching is what they said will come out on August 1st. And then she's done. I've already got a frame that I'm praying she fits. I got a gold frame, which I think will look great for her. I've just got to get it out of the garage. It It's got old print in it that I just don't care for anymore, so I'm repurposing it. I am praying it fits. <laughs> I think it will. <laughs> If it don't, then I gotta figure out something else. But yeah, that's it for this week. Um, there was one day I couldn't, I didn't really stitch all that much because my two new parakeets were bickering. So I decided to switch the finches and the parakeets cages out and put the parakeets in the bigger cage and my three finches into the smaller flight cage. And then I've got a, another bird cage that I use for isolation and moving them and all. Well, I got two of the finches in the transfer cage. One got out, siren got out. And finches are little. They're little society finches. And Siren got out. She loves to fly. And she'll race through the house like crazy. And she is extremely hard to catch. She is she, browns. And so she loved to land on the floor. Don't ask me why. Floor are on top of the windowsills <laughs> and paintings. But on the floor, you can't see her because we got hardwood floors. Well, it looks like hardwood floors. And you couldn't see her. Well, I looked from one o'clock until seven o'clock until I found her. And I found her in my craft room. And now I had a milk crate in there she had evidently flown into it and hit it and got stuck in it and she died trying to get out. And I didn't know because I, I couldn't hear her and I didn't see her because she's so little and it was it was some other boxes. So I lost Siren last week. Um, I did get other two, the smaller cage cleaned out and the bigger cage fully cleaned out. And I got the parakeets in the big cage now and they're not fighting as much. And I got the finches in the smaller flight cage. I've got two flight cages, <laughs> two big cages for them. But yeah, two birds in a month is too much my little heart but the four that I've got left are happy so at least it's like does this mean we need to go get you another finch and I told her no not right now maybe when I go in there and if I see one I really like then maybe but right now they're fine because they've got a partner in there it's just sky and shadow right now. But that's it. That was my week. Me being sick. And I felt fine. Otherwise, my voice and coughing. But, and then siren. It would be okay. I wonder if I can reach 4,000 stitches this week. For the week. I'm going to try. It ain't going to hurt to try. But today, Dark Queen. I'm going to work on the Dark Queen. I want to see if I can 
get her finished up before the first, which gives me basically two weeks. I think I can do it because if I looked at it right, the part 11 that I'm on, excuse me, was 2,888 stitches. And I didn't see what the other part was. I'll have to look that up. But I don't know. I think I can do it. I'm determined. But I hope everyone has a blessed day. <clears throat> and hopefully by next week, I'll have my voice fully. Oh, but next week, we go on vacation to see the kids, my kids and my grandkids. And they all live in the same area. So we'll be able to visit with all of them. And we're staying at my daughter's. And only thing that will hold us up is if I get worse or if I'm still sick, then we can't go. So I've got to get well. And um, <clears throat> even though it's primarily just my voice, but it scares people. <laughs> It scares people because of COVID and everything right now. You should have seen the looks I got going into the doctor's office in the hospital. And I'm like, it's just my allergy strain. It's okay. I get bronchitis all the time. I was worried it had turned into my bronchitis. But he says, no, it's not. It's just my allergies acting up. It is what it is. But I will have a, t a floss tube next Monday because it's the following Monday I might not because we're coming back on Sunday on Monday. So we'll see. I hope everyone has a blessed day. And if you're getting rain, enjoy it because it's either rain or the heat. You pick. <laughs> Have a blessed day, everyone.